Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. Y squared plus Y to the power of 2 equal to 36. Right? And then from here, what can we do? We can either expand what we have here or we take the square root of both sides, right? So if we take the square root of both sides, we shall have the square root of y squared plus y. This is raised to the power of 2 equal to a positive or negative square root of 36, right? Now from here, square root and square will go so that y to the power of 2 plus y will be equal to positive or negative square root of 36 is 6 now from here what should i do it means that i have two equations to deal with i have one y squared plus y to be equal to 6 now I'm going to deal with this first <clears throat> and then when I'm done I'll come back to pick the negative and then deal with it as well right so from here we can say that y squared plus y minus 6 is equal to 0 now we will solve this quadratic equation and then from here we can use factorization method, right? Two numbers, you multiply to get minus 6, and you bring both of them together to get um, plus 1, right? So the two numbers will be 3 and um, 2. 3 and minus 2, rather, because 3 times minus 2 will give minus 6, and 3 minus 2 will give plus 1. So this means that the factors of this equation will be y plus 3 and then we have um, y minus 2 both of them equal to 0 to continue with this it is either y plus 3 is equal to 0 or y minus 2 is equal to 0 and then y is equal to minus 3 or y is equal to plus 2, right? Okay, so from here now, I can say that I have y1 to be equal to minus 3, and then y2 to be equal to 2. So we have two values of y already. Then we will also proceed to... We are also going to get um, the other equation which is y squared plus y equals minus 6 and from there we are expected to have two solutions as well so we have y squared plus y equals minus 6 right and this means that we have y squared plus y plus 6 equals 0 and to solve this equation, we are going to use the formula method. So from there, we will have the formula will be y equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2a. Right? And then if we continue, y will be equal to um, our b now is going to be 1. That is the coefficient of um, y. So I'm going to write here minus 1. Then plus or minus. Then I have square root of b squared, which will be 1 squared. Then minus 4 times a. a is 1. That is the coefficient of y squared. And then we have um, c to be equal to 6 then the whole of this is over 2 times 1 
Then if we continue, y will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus. Then we have 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 6 will give us 24. And this will be all over 2, right? Okay, let's continue from here. From here, we are going to have... Okay, so this is what we have. And then we can say y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of um, negative 23. And this is all over 2. To continue with this, we are going to have y to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 23 multiplied by square root of negative 1. What I've done is to pick out the negative so that we can, you know, get square root of 23. Then from here we have over 2. Now let us continue y here is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 23i okay because square root of negative 1 is i and then this will be over 2 now remember that the i here is no longer under the square root sign and for that we can rearrange this so we will have y to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus i root 23 and this is over 2 so from here we have two solutions as well which are um we're going to pick the positive and equally pick the negative right but then let me bring the four solutions together um the first one y1 that we got before is minus 3 right then y2 that we got is plus 2 then from here now we are having two solutions which will be y3 and it's equal to minus 1 plus okay plus i square root of 23 and this is over 2 but then you can even decide to have decimal and then you press your calculator to get square root of 23 and then y4 will be equal to minus 1 minus i square root of 23 over 2. So these are the four solutions to the equation. But mind you, it is only 1 and 2 that are real solutions.